This is Daryl Scott. The knowledge tip from CS3 today is importing data into Acumatica ERP using import scenarios. There are a number of reasons to import data into Acumatica. You can import master files. You can import historical data. You can bring in transactions from external systems or maintain tables and data sets inside Acumatica. But in addition to these tasks, there are many more. In fact, Acumatica allows you to import data into every master file maintenance screen and transaction data entry screen. There are two components that need to be constructed in order to import data into Acumatica. The data provider tells the system where to get the data from, and the import scenario tells the system where and how to put the data into Acumatica. There are many system-defined data providers in Acumatica. Some are for some specialty integrations, but many allow you to use the data that you have already available. As you might expect, Excel is the most popular data import provider, and the examples we will look at today will be Excel-based. You can think of importing data into Acumatica as essentially having the system manually key the data into the screen. So in preparation for building an import scenario, it is highly recommended that you input data into the screen and observe how the system reacts. When we build an import scenario, we first identify the screen we'll be importing data into, we assign a data provider, we map the columns, and don't forget to essentially click the Save button. The last step on most import scenarios will be to save the data that you've entered. So how can you build your own import scenario? Well, the first and easiest is to copy an import scenario that's already provided to you by Acumatica. There are nearly 40 import scenarios that come with the system. And of course, you can build your own from scratch. But we're going to take a look at building a simple scenario, which is a way to shortcut some of the work you have to do to build an import scenario. Here we are in Acumatica looking at the integration quick menu. And you can see that we have our data providers and our import scenarios. And this thing we'll look at a little bit later called import by scenarios. Also notice that we do have export scenarios. So everything we're doing to get data into the system, you can also get data out again. You can also run multiple import scenarios at a time. And you can schedule them as well. First, we're going to look at data providers. So a data provider has a name and a type. And here's the list of the types that we've seen already. And of course, Excel is the one we're using here. And then we identify the file, which we have attached to the system. And here we have a list of the tabs in the workbook and which tab we're going to be importing. And the columns from that tab. Here we have our import scenario where we've given the scenario a name. We've identified the screen that we're going to be importing the data into. We've identified the data provider and the data sheet that we're going to be importing. And then in the bottom section, we define where we're going to input the data, what section of the screen, which data field we're going to input, and where the data is coming from in our data provider. Once we've constructed our data provider and our inputs, import scenario, we use the import by scenario to execute our import. There's two steps to importing data. One is to, to prepare the data, which loads the screen with the data from the file and then the import to actually import this data into the system. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you how to create a simple scenario. First, we click the plus button to add a new record. We choose the file that we're going to import and is going to be the basis for our scenario. The system is going to build our data provider for us. We import the file. We select the screen that we're going to import into and take the defaults. Our scenario name is Import Vendors. Now we want to map the data. This is a list of all the columns from the spreadsheet. We need to map it to the section of the import 
screen, and the field, which we'll do with the magic of computers to speed this up. Once we are finished mapping our scenario, we need to prepare the data. There are two steps to import. First is to prepare, the second is to import, and they can be done as one step. Prepare takes the data from the file and loads it into the import scenario grid. We click prepare and load the data. Active means it is ready to be imported. Processed once checked means it has been imported. We successfully prepared our data and now we can import the data. So all of our vendors are processed. That means that they've been imported. We can see them here on the vendor master screens. The simple scenario has created both an import scenario for our import vendors and a data provider. Using the Excel spreadsheet that we connected at the beginning of our simple scenario creation, here we see the table. And here we have our import scenario where the system has added the command lines necessary, including the save command at the end. Import scenarios can be more complicated, and a simple scenario that doesn't always work for every instance but it's a good starting place. Import scenarios can be used for multi-tab screens, parent-child screens like an invoice with the detail lines, and import scenarios can respond to pop-up questions that happen on some data entry screens. Building an import scenario with a simple scenario technique is the easiest way to take advantage of this powerful tool in Acumatica. For more instructional videos like this, visit us at cs3technology.com slash videos.